I've been playing with a public preview of iOS 11, the next major release coming to your iPhone and iPad this fall. So let's go over five of the biggest changes. One of the biggest changes you'll see is this brand new dock on the bottom of the screen. Previously, you can only have a couple apps down there, but now Apple allows you to add as many as you want. Next up is multitasking. Now, maybe you have email open, you can quickly open up notes, drag that over here, and run them side by side. Now, we've been able to do this before, but now you can also add something like messages, where it sort of just floats on top. There's a brand new app switcher too, so you can quickly go between applications and see what's open and what's not, or close them out. The third biggest change is Control Center. You can completely customize it now and access more features than ever before. So if you want to quickly control your brightness or your volume, you can do that here. But you can also add shortcuts to your smart home, to your alarm clock, to your Apple TV controls. If you hold down on them, you get more access to the information. So here we have the album art, or in this one, suddenly we can see personal hotspot and other features. The next one's a feature I think a lot of you are really going to like. It's a file system with access to cloud storage. So it looks a lot like your desktop computer, except this is my iCloud drive. So all my files saved on my Mac or my iPhone or other iPads are all right here for quick access. And the fifth biggest feature is the ability to drag and drop between two different applications. So on the left I have the web browser, on the right I have an email, and I can just take this image, drag and drop it and say fix this and send it off. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.